Okay, YouTube, so I'm going to record what normally I do to help me improve as a player is I watch a lot of replays, and then I kind of go through and I kind of analyze what they're doing. Like, personally, I've been playing like a bunch of Jinx on one of my Smurf accounts. I kind of main support, so I really like watching replays that involve bot lane at higher elo, just because I'm learning how to play ADC better, and I can get a lot from seeing how... How the supports at the higher elos play so i thought that i would record one of these replay sessions i do and just kind of give you some of the thoughts and some of the things that i try to pick up on to uh, improve as a player i try to play probably like five to eight rank games and then watch a replay so i kind of do that ratio and you end up picking up a lot of early tricks so let's see, so this lane is Caitlyn Thresh versus Jinx and Janna. And this is uh, NA Master Tier. So we have Humandu, who I recognize. Chewie's God is one of Valkyrie's Smurf accounts. Valkyrie doesn't normally play ADC. So right away, both sides are fighting to try to get level 2. Level 2 is the first 6 minions here, and then 3 during the next wave. So you see this, here, I'll go back a little bit. So what's going to happen from the support's point of view is Janna is immediately going to try to get this bush control and then is going to try to harass Thresh because Thresh, he's going to come in and he's going to have Flay at level 1 and he's going to use the passive on Flay to try to hit as many of these minions as possible to try to kill these minions faster than Jinx can kill them. So Jan is immediately going to go into bush control. Thresh is going to counter with bush control. He's going to put a ward into this bush so Jana can't just sit here and, and auto attack minions. And so what Jan is going to do is she's going to shield herself and then start auto attacking Thresh and then put a ward of her own into this bush. And Caitlyn's just trying to harass Jinx. So Thresh flays, Caitlyn immediately comes over to try to deal damage onto Janna. Jinx is looking to try to get a rocket off on Caitlyn and is unsuccessful. So Jinx is immediately going to try to rocket these three minions here in order to, to kill him as fast as possible. Janna's just going to back off. So all of that going on there wasn't just trading for the sake of trading. Both teams want to try to get the advantage of, of killing these minions first, and this is all kind of jockeying for like position. So if, so if you play at lower elo, just know it, like if you're Janna, you can go into this bush and your enemy probably won't ward it, and then you can just attack the minions for free. I and mean, when likely, if you're playing Thresh, just know that you can you know go into this bush and start auto-attacking minions, and the enemy Janna will probably play super, super passive. So Valken was trying to move up to try to get more headshots from the Caitlyn passive. Both teams are going to hit. So Valkyrie's pushing here because he wants to kill these minions ASAP to get level 2. And you can see how Thresh is already moving up. Ideally, and this is probably why, I mean, Valkyrie doesn't really main ADC. But it's 1, 2, 3 minions. And Valkyrie should be a little bit up farther here. But watch Humandu, who's like a support main. Watch what he does. He gets both of these minions low. And then he's going to walk straight towards Jinx. Because he knows that when this minion dies, he's level 2. He's going to take Hook. He's, he's going to flay first, Janna. Then he's going to Hook her. And then immediately gets the Flash and also the the Exhaust on the, on the, on the Caitlyn. So this is a very well executed level 2 all-in. And this just goes to show how important it is hitting level 2. And... If you're playing at lower elo, you know, like your silver, or your gold, or even your bronze, just pay close attention to, to when you hit that level 2 power spike, because if you hit it before the enemy team, you can go really ham. You can go super aggressive on them. And you can either, you know, burn summoners, or you can sometimes get um, get a kill if, you're, um, if your opponents don't react fast enough. So basically, Jan is going to blow her pots, and Jinx is going to farm up here. I 
And Jinx is doing a really good job of uh, harassing with her Q auto attacked rockets. This is forcing J Caitlyn to play in the standard ADC position, which is behind the casters. Jinx is going to back off to wait for the next minion wave to come up. And is only going to walk forward to try to kill the minions a little bit. Okay, so that was so, so this is a really interesting trade that happens here. So what happens is Valkyrin does something that's rather aggressive. Normally he's supposed to stand behind these caster minions here. And just try to see us. And he's waiting for these minions to, to uh, basically come here in order to reset so that he can stand behind them. So at the moment, he's getting slightly too aggressive by walking up too far. So, so he's going to walk up and he's going to Q. And this Q isn't actually going to hit anybody. So, so immediately, Janna shields Jinx. And Jinx knows to go in for the trade onto Caitlyn because Caitlyn has her, has her Q on cooldown. So Jinx gets two auto attacks off. Caitlyn retaliates with um, with an auto attack of her own. Humendu comes in with the flay immediately, and then tries to hook and then misses it. So then Jinx immediately starts trading once again with with Caitlyn, knowing that there's not much that they can do here. So this was just a very interesting turnaround. How that Valkyrie made a slight misplay. That allowed Jinx to go really aggressive, and then Thresh saw the fact that Jinx was going really aggressive onto Caitlyn, so then Thresh went aggressive onto Jinx. And then, because Thresh missed his hook, uh, basically Jinx and Janna ended up winning this trade. And then Jan is being really aggressive because Janna knows that Thresh, Thresh has to be able to land a Q onto Janna in order to do anything here. So Janna has a ward in this bush, knows that Thresh doesn't have a ward in here. So Janna can walk up and basically try to deny this CS here. And the other thing to know is that Janna still has one of her health pots. So she would be willing to take 200 damage to herself if she's able to give like 100 damage to Thresh. Just because she has full HP and she has a biscuit still and she wants to, to uh, basically trade her health for the enemy team's health. Because then that'll keep the enemy team low enough that they can try to kill him at some point. So this is all pretty standard. Caitlyn gets a little bit of a harass off on Jinx. Okay, so this is very strange. So sometimes you'll see this, and sometimes as like a support player you can get away with this, that bot lane always has to be aware that like Jinx and Janna have to be aware that the jungler could come in like at any time. So Humandu gets really 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 aggressive here and he walks up and Jinx and Janna have to respect the fact that they might be getting ganked so immediately Janna responds very well by slowing Thresh and then once Thresh misses his Q he's in big trouble so Caitlyn walks up Caitlyn's gonna get auto attacked a couple times Caitlyn gets off the uh, 50 caliber net to, to get out of this situation. Thresh is going to take some damage here. So that was a bit of an overzealous play by Thresh in my opinion. He was honestly just trying to make a play onto Jinx. That was some good harass by Caitlyn. So, Noble Try by Thresh. Thresh is obviously a little frustrated with, with this lane, so he wants to go super aggressive. So, he's going to flash over the minions to get a flay hook onto Jinx because Jinx is low. And Janna immediately sees this, and she lands a very good tornado. 
and she puts herself in the distance. So, like here, Jinx flashes. Janet gets in front of Jinx to take the hook and the tornado. And now it's going to be very difficult for Thresh and Caitlyn to be able to do enough damage to uh, completely kill Janna here. And Jan is going to have her shield up in a second anyways. So they get another flay off. That was kind of a miss W by Jinx there. But they get some really good harass down, but they're not going to be able to finish this kill. And then, uh oh. It seems as though Botlin's going to get ganked by Hecarim. Janna is walking up suspiciously close. See if Thresh can get the flay off. He gets the flay. Smite goes down onto Thresh. Caitlyn just gonna auto attack move to to the tower. Thresh is dead. Yeah. So this is rather unfortunate because of the really aggressive play of Thresh. Uh, Caitlyn would have been able to uh, stay in lane to CS. Now Caitlyn has to recall. This means that even though the Jinx has only like 200 health. She can stay in the lane, and with Janna's help, she can she can push all the way to, to like this tower. So this greatly favors this Jinx lane now. So they're gonna push out. Okay, so so this is a very good play by Thresh here. So. Thresh, so you, you you may not understand what's exactly happening here, but having played Thresh, I, I, I know exactly what's coming. Thresh has Ignite. Thresh knows that these guys want to shove this wave into tower and then recall. Thresh knows that Caitlyn's behind him. Thresh knows that he has full health. They don't. So Thresh is going to simply walk up and start auto-attacking Jinx. He's going to try to get a flay on her, and he's going to auto-attack. And he's going to wait for Caitlyn to get into lantern range and he's going to ignite either Jinx or Janna. There we go. So there's the ignite. Draws out the exhaust. I think Jinx is dead. So, oh, and then what's more, we have Karthus at level 6 who's going to get a double kill here, it looks like. Okay, so Thresh gets the hook on to Janna. Lanterns in Caitlyn. Freest kill of Caitlyn's life here. So very good play by Thresh. Knowing that the enemy team overextended. And knowing both the limitations of his champion. And also the fact that Karthus mid was 6 and had his ultimate up. Very good play there. It was, a, it was a very veteran Thresh play. Okay, so let's see what the gold is. Caitlyn, uh... So, so Caitlyn's in a bit of a difficult spot. Thresh has to recall because he's low. Caitlyn doesn't have enough gold to really buy anything of value. And these guys are coming back to lane. So Caitlyn's going to have to try. So, so either Caitlyn has to recall now and buy I don't know what. Or she has to try to stay in lane and try to get XP. And then try not to get zoned from XP. And also try not to get just like ridiculously chunked. By being too close, so she's gonna have to respect the fact that Janna can uh, control this bush and tries to get the cannon and can't. Okay, so Caitlyn's just gonna walk back. They're gonna do Krugs. It looks like this is something that's very common that if you, that if you can't walk up here and you're kind of getting zoned and don't want to fight, just uh, ping your support to do Krugs. It'll help you uh, keep up in XP and is worth around eh, like 4 or 5 CS.
Okay, all this is pretty standard. Jinx only has pickaxe. Jinx doesn't hit a large power spike until Jinx can get a uh, BF sword. Oh. That was some very good trading back and forth here. Okay. So Jinx gets the autoed Q W combo off. Jinx gets the uh, headshot. Q trade back. Nautilus is trying to gank, can't really gank. Jan is going to hit level 6 soon, which is going to make ganking very difficult for the blue side jungler. Ooh. Okay, so Humandu gets A. Oh, he fucked up the ult. Okay, but he got the flay into this. I don't think this is going to get him a kill, though. That was a very nice tornado by Janna hitting both. Traps go down. Twisted Fate for the red team is Destiny in. We have Hecarim. This is really bad. This is really bad. So Humandu is, is dead. Gold card's going to hit Valkrin. Uh, yeah, these guys are both going to die. Okay, so Valkrin's able to flash it, but okay, so Hecarim just ults. It's the heal off. It's not really going to matter. Has the wherewithal to auto attack once. But that's ah, not going to do anything. And jungler is all the way over here. Tis the life of Botlin. So red side's going to get dragon. Red side's going to have a really large advantage from this. So they're not going to be able to get dragon. Okay. Ooh, Nautilus getting chunked. Ooh, really aggressive play by Thresh. Goes for the flash hook. Comes up short. Both sides are fairly even in CS. This does favor Jinx because Jinx will outscale Kaelin. Gonna speed up to see if there's any more interesting lane phase stuff that happens. This tower is not long for this world. Okay, so Caitlyn ulted Jinx so that Jinx, if she stays in lane, has to stay with the HP disadvantage. Which means that Caitlyn might be able to duel Jinx straight up. Okay, so here we go. Yeah, see, Jinx is not able to fully duel Caitlyn. Okay, well, I think that, oh, uh, and uh, Caitlyn's caught here. It's going to be a bit of a team fight around Dragon. Oh, Jinx is in a really good spot here. Okay, so if you're ever in, like, a fight around Dragon, as Jinx, when you're in your rocket form, sitting, like, right here, if you have a front line of any kind is amazing because you can run up and you can attack people and if they engage on you you can run back here around this corner and still attack people like on this little ramp here and it makes it very difficult for them to engage on you right here right here's like the sweet spot you can be right here and be really safe 
and deal a lot of damage, and then you can come out when it's safe. Oh, Jinx is just going to destroy these people. Okay. Lands the W. Double kill. Alright guys, so this kind of ends the laning phase. So I might do another video when I analyze like mid-game or like team fighting, but I'm just going to stick to like laning phase for this one. So I hope that you guys learn something. I kind of, this, this kind of makes me want to go play Thresh now. Because <laughs> I like being really aggressive on Thresh. So uh, take care guys.